I have a crazy story to tell you. But before I tell you, I'm gonna take a shower. While I'm taking a shower, leave a like on the video. When I get back, I'm gonna tell you the story. Alrighty, so here's what happened. So it started about last night, just a little bit before 7 p.m. I was just up here editing a video, doing my thing, about to save it, about to upload it to YouTube and schedule it for 8 p.m. When all of a sudden, Chloe's fiance texts me. He says, hey, can you come with me downstairs to go get Chloe? And I was like, um, all right, why not? And he said, make sure you come down the certain side of the stairs. That way, you know, you can see what happened. And I was like, hmm, that's, that's weird, but all right. Not too much later, I look out my window and I see flashlights just like looking around the sidewalk. And I was like, what the... What? And then I hear shortly after that, or shortly before that, one of the two, I hear a bunch of sirens. And that's from somebody calling the cops. And I was like, well, that might be related to what he's talking about. Maybe I, maybe I hurry up, hurry up and go check it out. And so I walk down the elevator. I get going, I, I leave my room and get everything ready. I'm going downstairs, I go to the elevator, go down. And the elevator opens, I walk out, and I see this. And I'm like, what? What the heck happened? And so I walk over there, and him and a couple other guys are standing there. And they're like, yeah, man, we were... Because there was two guys that were working at the food place that's down there. And then he was there. My sister's fiance was there. And so they... I was like, what the heck happened, dude? What, what's going on? And so they show me this. And they're like, so we were just in there working, doing our thing. We heard a loud pop. And I was like, okay. And so they, come, they didn't really notice. And then Chloe's fiance is coming down, getting ready to leave to go get her from work. And he sees it, and he's like, dude, what... So he calls the cops, and so he goes in there and tells those guys, and they're like coming out and they're checking everything out and you know looking at it and seeing what's going on. And apparently they were looking around and they found this. This here is a bullet, and apparently a stray bullet from a shooting that happened across the street, like down the road a little ways. Um, a stray bullet came and hit the window of our little dorm area. It was more like towards the cafeteria side, but I mean it is what it is. But that's actually insane because like we were looking at it, and as you can see here, there is a hole in like you can t there's a definite circle there's a definite circle to where you can see where the bullet kind of went in and it like shattered below it and it was like actually insane so later on when the cops got there they were looking around they had little flashlights they were you know they were making precautions to check everything out and they were looking and they were looking to see like where it like where it entered and where it hit and where it could have bounced to and it was it was just insane and so eventually after they talked to us a little bit they let us go and we got to do whatever we wanted we just got went along our day and then another weird thing happened that night so i was trying to like i was laying down getting ready for bed and I was just chilling in a couple hours went into me trying to fall asleep and I, think, I don't remember what time it was it was probably close to 1 a.m. I would say because I was having trouble falling asleep and I hear these like screaming from outside and I'm not sure if this is any amount related to what I was talking about just a minute ago but I, I was like what the heck's going on so I look out my window and there's this I guess there's there's two cars in, a, in like the driveway of this little apartment complex area and there's I'm, I'm trying to find out where i hear the screaming from and eventually i look forward and i see a silhouette of a person um and a, i guess a woman and i think a dog and the only words i could definitely make out were um don't poison my dog or why are you trying to poison my dog or something like that i'm sure there was more to it than just that because I, I didn't really get the whole thing all i heard was a bunch of screaming and i sat there and watched it for maybe like five to ten minutes anywhere in between there and i just sat there and watched it and i'm like trying to figure out what the heck's going on but it's so far away and there you know it's weird and i, I it's in audible screaming basically so i'm just i'm just sitting there on my knees looking out the window and i'm like dude what is up <laughs> like what's going on and i didn't know if this was related to the shooting or if it had anything to do with it whatsoever i'm thinking it didn't because the shooting was like down that direction and this happened but i mean you never know it could be completely related it could be the exact same situation but who knows but everything's cool like it's all good they came and boarded up the window and that kind of thing but it was weird because both of those really weird things happened the exact same night and i was wondering to myself i was like wait a minute maybe this is related potentially i wanted to get on here and tell you guys that story because it was pretty interesting. I thought it would be definitely worth telling. All right, so now that we got all that out of the way, I'm gonna go get food because I'm starving. So let's go eat. Yo, I'm eating food. We got the chicken tenders and fries combo. That's absolutely amazing, dude. Also watching some YouTube and drinking Pepsi. Just got a letter from Maddie in the mail and she's the best. I love her. Not much goes on around here other than, you know, me chilling on my computer, making videos, eating food. You know, there's not, not a whole lot else that happens. So I'm trying to look for this little basketball that goes with this basketball goal right here, but I can't seem to find it. I mean, it's probably under this pile of laundry. And before you guys make fun of me in the comments again, I know my room's messy. It's gonna be that way because I'm packing up and you're ready to leave. Whenever you pack, you make a mess. It's just how it works. Mission is try to find that basketball. Maybe, I don't know where it is, but we'll try to find it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where is it? Back here? No. Hmm, behind this? No. In here? Hmm. Oh, wait, is it on this? Is it, is it? Bro, where is it? Oh, wait, that's a pumpkin, okay. I saw that and I was like, hey, there it is. <laughs> that's not it. I found it. It's in this little trash can here. <laughs> mm. uh. Yeah. Now for the rest of the day, I get to clean up all of this and, uh, you know, pack it away. 
I hope I made that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. We're on the road to 600 subscribers. Let's get there soon. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Gary the Bear, and I will see you guys again tomorrow.